Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Adding clickable links to digital designs can get you more views to your social media, website, or even your YouTube channel. This quick lesson will guide you through step-by-step -step of the process to add your URL to a design no matter what your project is. Let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is create your design. I already have this eight and a half inch by 11 inch project ready to go so that I can add my YouTube channel link to it. Click on the element, photo, or text that you want others to click on to carry them directly somewhere else. Make sure you stay at the end to learn how to make the whole design clickable. In the upper right hand corner, there is a link icon. Click that and a spot opens up to a website or you can even add pages from your document. This is really beneficial if you have a lot of pages in your project and want to add a table of contents at the front. You'll be able to easily jump from page one to page 45 using the link to page option. Add your website by typing it in or using the copy paste function on your computer. By the way, the mobile app is outstanding, but my preference is a computer because there are more options and I can design much faster on my computer. Comment below if you have this function on mobile app and let everyone know where it's located. Thanks. After you insert the link, you will definitely want to double check because the last thing you want is to direct others to an incorrect site. If you like the tips and tricks you learn in this Canva lesson, tap the like button because it helps me know you love what you are learning. If everything is just how you want it, download your project as a PDF file. This is an absolutely free option for everybody. Double check your file to make sure that it does connect properly and then you may distribute your digital design in your preferred method. Before I share how to connect your link to an entire document, let me tell you what's coming up soon. How does a 3D pop-out design for an Instagram post sound? I shared five examples on the community tab. I'm also going to share how to use Canva to brainstorm for title, topic, description, and thumbnail ideas. You will learn how to use the new Canva tables for topic planning. If this sounds like something you need to learn, make sure that you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on because these lessons are not to be missed. Back to the lesson. You may decide that you wanna connect your link to the whole design and not just a specific element. In that case, you can simply download it first as a PNG image. Remember, the download button is in the upper right hand corner. Upload that image into Canva. Once it is uploaded, you will bring that image to the blank canvas. Go over to your elements tab to look up a one panel grid. Add this to your design and simply place your image within it. As you see here, I needed to adjust my grid slightly to make sure that the image was fully seen. Click on the image in the grid to pull up the link on the right hand side and repeat the steps you learned earlier in today's lesson. Add the link, double check the link, download as a PDF. If you want to learn how to resize your social media accounts for free, then watch the video on the left hand side of your screen. I'll see you over there. Bye.